Finally today, with the women's NCAA Final Four in Minneapolis, local schools got the chance to shine. We went along with Centerville Elementary's third graders as they competed in the read to the Final Four. The excitement of March Madness became real for Centerville Elementary School third graders Friday. They joined three other schools from across Minnesota as finalists in the NCAA's read to the Final Four competition at the Women's Final Four. They've been competing since January. I think last I, week we read like 32,000 minutes, read, almost 33,000 minutes for my class. We read like 31,000. Yeah, we, we, we read 31,000 too. In one week? Yes. yes. That sounds like a lot of reading. Kids get pretty serious. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine so. You have to be serious to read yes, that much. Yes, because yeah. this is a once in a lifetime chance. The quest was to read the most minutes in this final week, which ended by celebrating at the Minneapolis Convention Center with mascots and Vikings Hall of Famer Randall McDaniel. All that hard work has gotten you to, you and your classmates, to the final four today. Students could read books, tablets, or even listen to audiobooks. I don't really like reading page books. <laughs> I like listening to books more often. Does it make it more exciting yeah. or easier to understand something? It makes it easier to understand. It just helps you learn and have fun. Teachers are just thrilled the kids got reading. The third grade is that integral year of really bridging that piece of picture books and really building upon that love of reading and building up the amount of reading to get them to have the stamina to get through chapter books. And so this is the perfect competition for that. And while Centerville didn't win in the end, it's still an accomplishment to celebrate. The cheerleading that they, they do for each other. We've got a couple minutes, what can we do? Let's get out a book. Or can you play a, a book on the front? And to build lifelong habits. It's just a great way to practice your reading. I think that's what the challenge is meant for. The reading tournament started with 100 Minnesota schools. The prize for the winning school is $5,000 worth of books, thanks to Scholastic.